friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here today to show you what I'm calling um, stamp spritzing. And that's what's created this really nice background here. Um, it's a form of watercoloring, and if you're afraid of watercoloring, a little bit hesitant to get into it, this is a great way to get started, so that's why I want to show that this to you today. Now, I'm going to start by showing you the set we're going to use. We're going to use the Parcels and Petals Bundle from the 2019-2020 Annual Stampin' Up! Catalog, and it's right here. We're going, I'm just going to show you the spritzing, but you can see they've done something a little bit similar. I don't think they spritzed here. I think they just stamped, but this is the stamp we're going to be using, and it's a what I might call a triple stamp. It has three flowers on it, and I love it because it has these little dots, and they come out like this, and I love those little dots. It's, it, it's like splattering, only you don't have to do the splattering because it's all built in for you. So let's see how to do it. We're going to start with a piece of the new uh, Stampin' Up! Fluid watercolor paper and I've cut it to five inches by three and a half inches I think it might be three and a quarter I'll have to check on that and I today I'm going to use some daffodil delight ink and I'm going to do that because the other one was purple and I thought it's summery and we'll give a try with some with some bright yellow and this is our Stampin Up uh, spritzer and it's filled with water and it has a little a spritz spray there and so the first thing I'm going to do is just stamp my stamp and get it well inked. And then I'm going to spray it with the spritzer. And the spritzer will, it, I got each stamp covered, each of the flowers. And then I'm just going to stamp down. And then I'm going to get more ink on, spritz again, stamp again. And I'm going to try to cover most of the paper. And if you don't get a spot, you can just fill in just like I just did. And we're just going to repeat that until we get this all colored. Ink, spritz, stamp. I'll do it one more time in this corner. Ink, spritz, stamp. All right, that's all there is to the stamping. And now I'm going to hold it up, and you see those cute little dots around there that I love so much. Now I'm just gonna hold it up and spritz just in general to moisten the paper and get, it, get the colors to blend a little bit more. And I can allow it to run for a few minutes and get it a little bit, get the paper a little more colored because you do want this watercolor look. And when I have it the way I want, I just go in and blot. And I'm just using a tissue, a Kleenex, actually. And I'm just going to go in and blot it like that. And you can now dry it with a, a heat tool if you like. I just actually waited a few minutes. Isn't that, isn't that just adorable and easy and so great? You know, everything is all about watercoloring nowadays. Um, and then I'll show you the other things I did. I'm not going to make the card in front of you today. I wanted to just show you the watercolor technique, the spritz stamping. But all I did is I stamped another sentiment from the set that says birthday cheer to you all year. I cut it out with a die that comes in the die set. And that's, and oh, actually I, st I, I did, um, Heat, I used a heat embossing on there, white heat embossing. This is an adorable die that also comes in the set. And I really like that as a flower background. So I just cut that, ran that through the Big Shot with Whisper White paper. And I have some of our um, flax type ribbon going across there, white flax ribbon. I angled it with another piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock cut to the same size and put a few sequins on. You'll see all the products down below the video. But isn't that just quick? I mean, I'm thinking of doing quite a few of these in various colors so that when I want to make a card that has a little water coloring, I just pull this in and start and my card is halfway done. And of course, you can use this with other different stamps, lots of different stamps. 
um, to create this same effect. It's really quick and I hope you'll give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel so that every time I put up a video, you'll get notified and you'll be able to see it. And also pop on over to my blog at prettypapercards.com. I post everything over there. You'll be seeing this card over there. And have a great day. So glad you stopped by. Bye-bye.